Next would be I have to have something holographic, um, like a top or something just to spark up the other ones. And so I have picked out my Revlon Holographic Pearls, which is, in my opinion, better than Fairy Dust. Uh, if you've seen my holographic toppers, you already know this. Um, so yeah, Holographic Pearls from Revlon would be number four. Number five would be a super duper old polish, which I have had for many, many years and loved for many years, and there's still a heap of it in here. Um, and that would be Sally Hansen Chrome Nail Makeup in Amethyst Chrome. It's a one coat polish, looks awesome. Best chrome polish out there, better than all the other shit that's come out. Much easier than powders and stuff like that. This is the formula they should have brought back, not that shit nail paint stuff. Just my opinion. <laughs> but yes, this would be number five. Number six is another Revlon. I actually have three Revlons in here. This is Revlon Emerald City, which is from the Matte Suede collection. This was a good one to include because it's a matte finish. So occasionally you want a matte finish. This works really, really well for it. I suppose you could use matte top coat. But you can also put top coat on this and it completely changes the way that it looks. This is like my favourite green nail polish of all time, probably. Um, I really, really like this nail polish. So this is Emerald City. The other Revlon is a new one to my collection. So this is a classic. I managed to get this on sale for under $10, which in Australia is a very good price. Okay. This is Cherries in the Snow. I actually found a bottle of Cherries in the Snow on sale and then got it further reduced. And it's a beautiful, really nice, bright, pinky red type of colour. I can see why this is a classic and why so many people like it. It's a very nice polish. So this is Cherries in the Snow. Then we have my first and favourite holographic nail polish of all time. And that is Layla Coral Glam. I want all the other ones in the hologram collection. But they're really, really hard to get hold of these days because I don't make them anymore. This is a very pale um, holographic nail polish, but it is so beautiful on the nails. Like in sunlight, oh, it's just stunning. I love this thing to bits. So that would be number eight. So I have four polishes left. Two of them are indies, and two of them are as close to being indies as is necessary because. Um, <laughs> They're, they're kind of like expensive as well, but I couldn't, I had to put both of them in, I couldn't pick between the two of them. This is these two polishes that I have from Garde or Jade, I think it's Garde because it's a G. Um, they, they look like beetle wings on the nail. Um, the manicure I'll show you actually shows both of them in one manicure. Um, these, you could put these over a black if you want to, but I've actually found it two coats. I don't need to. They they work quite well. They're, they're kind of that duochrome type thing going on. So this one here is blue satin, which is really funny because it's way more green than it is blue, but it does have a blue duochrome to it. Absolutely gorgeous. And the other one is Magic Knight, which is more sort of a blue with almost a purple pinky type of shift to it. Again, so gorgeous on the nails. I absolutely love these two nail polishes. Love, love, love. Um, the last two are my, um, probably my signature colours as far as nail polishes are concerned, in, as far as anything is concerned really. The first one is from Pretty Serious, this is Galaxy Invader. 
this is a kind of blue teal to purple pink multi duo chrome type doodad um, it's just so gorgeous it's just it is beautiful so I'd have to take that with me because It's one of those things, I put it on my nails, I actually wore this for a week. I never wear nail polish for a week, I put this on my nails and didn't take it off. That's how much I liked it. So that's always a good sign. And the other one that I did that to, except I wore it for almost two weeks without taking it off one hand, is the Dance of Dragons from Glam Polish, which is completely me in a bottle. It is a greeny teal to purple shifting duo almost multi-chrome with holographic bits in it this is this is me <laughs> this is me in a bottle so of course I had to include that in my 12 I have to take the ones that remind me of me so um, that is the dance of dragons So those are the 12 polishes, Claire, that I would take with me if I was not allowed to buy any other polishes. You have no idea how hard this was, especially as I have in this container a whole bunch of new polishes, which oh, I would totally love to take, but I only had 12 spots. And it was very hard to pick, so I went for ones that were favourites, ones that I would reach for if I didn't know what I was going to paint on my nails and I needed something on my nails. So that is my response to this particular tag. There will be a list of the other ladies involved down below. Don't forget to check them all out. Leave me a thumbs up if you like collab type videos and nail type videos. If you want to subscribe, there will be a thing if I remember to put the end card. I think it's on this side. It might be on that side. Plus a couple of other videos that you might want to have a look at. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.